Jared Cohen, Sports 360 AZ, joined by a local gold medalist. Don't have very many of those in state, but we have one here. Marcus Howard went to Perry High School, going to be heading to Finlay Prep next fall. Joins us here in studio to talk about the USA Under-16 experience, participated in the, the Americas, which means you qualify for the Worlds next mm -hmm. summer. Yeah. You got the gold in the Americas. Let's start right from the beginning because getting to this point was not easy. Colorado Springs, there for almost two weeks, mm -hmm. two-a-day practices, uh, uh, with some playing every day with some of the best talent from around the country. How did your body hold up despite all this and just the experience mm -hmm. Uh, playing at this level and, and achieving what you were able to achieve? Uh, I mean, physically, I mean, it was probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to uh, do as a, as a player. Just going those two days for about 10 or 12 days straight it was uh, really hard on my body, but it proved, training up there in Colorado Springs, it really proved, uh, I mean, it really just showed uh, and enhanced my conditioning and really just put me in the best shape of my life, I feel. Because playing out in Argentina, I didn't really get that tired that often. Just because the altitude in Colorado, I think, really just helped, and it was a great experience. Playing against some of the uh, elite talent is one thing, but having to make a team mm -hmm. like this that's prestigious and, and held in such a high regard worldwide is another. Um, your thoughts that goes through your head once you make this team? Oh, man, I mean, it was just truly a blessing just to be there at the training camp just to try out for the team. But to make the team, I mean, it was honestly just one of the biggest honors I could have ever gotten as a basketball player. And uh, I just never took that for granted. I mean, each and every time I was on the court, I played my hardest, did everything I could, because when you have that USA on your chest, it really just brings out a whole different energy to the game that you have to, you have to bring each and every time you're on the court. Over the course of this process, what were some of the things that – the coaches and the ones involved, uh, the I don't know if they called them judges or the committee yeah. that helped select the team. What were some of the things that you were hearing about yourself, both on a positive and an improvement front, that really kind of helped put you over the edge? I mean, just a positive thing that, that I would be told was uh, just how they loved the way I led as a, as a leader on the court, and just uh, how I got everybody involved, and also just my defense. My defense really just stood out to the committee and as well as the coaches. So they told me just to continue with that and. I did, and that was really just a main point on how I made the team. So finally, on a week's notice, you find out you're going to be heading to Argentina. Mm -hmm. Have you even been that far out of the country before? No, the farthest I've been out of the country is Canada. I don't know if that really counts. <laughs> I mean, it technically, just, it, it technically it does, but I mean, it's just up north. But no, I was this is the, that was really the first time I've ever really traveled outside of the country like that. You guys have great success. You blow teams out, put up 120 points yeah. in some games, even more than that at times. You really put on a great display mm -hmm. coming off the bench, scoring the ball. You ultimately uh, set a new mark for USA under 16 basketball for three-point shooting percentage. It's now 48.4%. Just the experience and, and what, what the game was looking like to you out there as you were competing. I mean, just playing at that, at that, with that competition level, I mean, it really just, uh, it was something I was used to, just playing also in the EYBO for club, and then just also just playing, playing up my whole entire life. Uh, it's just really, it really uh, the game was kind of slowed down for me when I got there, because I'd, I'd been aware of that kind of level of competition. So when I got there, it was really just, it was nothing I hadn't seen before. It was just on a bigger stage, but uh, I love to play in those bigger, bigger, bigger games and on the bigger stage, so that's stuff I love as a player. Little did you know, though, that you'd end up being a fan favorite. You're, you're part Puerto Rican, <laughs> yeah. so being in the Latin America, South America part of the, the globe, mm -hmm. they're a little bit drawn to you a little bit and yeah. had kids going for your autographs and things. What was that like? Oh, it was, it was awesome. I mean, just uh, it was kind of like people, like the kids could look up to me, but at eye level, I mean, so it was definitely a great experience. I mean, just knowing that I was appreciated for, for the things I did on the court. And uh, it was really just it was uh, cool just to see that the fans really did enjoy my game and just, just loved, to, uh, loved to watch me play, so it was awesome. Uh, your first time being there, so there's probably a cultural aspect of it that you haven't experienced. Uh, and I always want to know about food because oh, I love food. <laughs> so so the, the positives and negatives of the experience around food in Argentina. Oh, man, I mean, to be honest, there weren't, really, weren't many pro positives. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, they would try to make the food like American, but it was, it's, it's nothing like American food. Uh, they had a lot of meat and stuff like that. I mean, it was okay. Well, some, some, some examples they, of them trying but they, not succeeding. They tried to, like, make, like, cheeseburgers and stuff, but they wouldn't even have hamburger buns. It would be, like, just plain white bread. <laughs> so, I mean, the stuff like that. But then the pizza also wasn't very good. They had, like pizza it was just bread and cheese but no sauce on it. Was there anything that was, like, an Argentinian staple, though, that, that you tried steak. to have? 
yeah. the steak. The steak was probably the best thing I've had out there. It was it was pretty good. But that, besides that, I mean, they're pretty weak in every other aspect when it comes to food. How has this elevated your game to a level that you didn't even think that you could achieve um, based on your maturation and evolving as a basketball player? I mean, just uh, being known around Arizona as a scorer, I mean, I, f I feel being out there in Colorado Springs as well as Argentina, it really brought more aspects to my game that people maybe most people didn't know about. They were, I think it really just brought out that I'm, I'm a really good defender, but I'm also just a pure leader on the basketball court and do whatever it takes for a team to win. So I think it really just, just displayed my full all-around game out there.